Good morning. Good morning. Lots of young disciples today. All of you, the rest of you, I'm sure, are young at heart, right? Yes. And, and we do have the box. We have the box. And you were eager to get the box last week, which always makes me nervous, because I don't know what's in it. I don't know what's coming. And I know you had plans last week. It's not very heavy. Can I shake the box? You can. Ooh, I can shake. Wait. Yeah. Wait, wait. Did you say careful about or? Yes. Don't shake it. I'm not shaking the box. <laughs> It's like, yeah, you can shake the box, but it's one of a, you know, an antique from about the early 1800s in there. <laughs> what do you think? Should we open it? Really? Her all-time favorite. This is not a real one. <laughs> Hold that up. Point it away from me. <laughs> For those of you who can't see, that is a teeny tiny little skunk. Ornament, I hope? Yes, one of many that I have. One of many. So apparently you like skunks? Yes, I do. I have skunk <laughs> socks on right now. Skunk socks on. I love those um, You're probably in a minority, I would, I would suspect, for liking those critters. Although I hear they make awesome pets. They do. When I you, had one when I was younger. Did you you really had a skunk as a pet. I have only ever seen one up close and personal. Um, and it was fortunately a pet that had had the, its scent glands removed and didn't have to worry about its spraying. On the other hand, we do see evidence very often of them here in Rotterdam where that they, they travel around. And I know I have been out for a walk late at night and seen one walking around. And uh, I gave it a very wide berth. Have you ever seen an albino skunk before? No, I have not seen an albino skunk. Show me out of it. <laughs> well, you know, I'm not going to invite it in if it comes over, I don't think, but I would, I would love to see an albino skunk. Um, my wife jokes, though, that that our signs coming into Rotterdam, Rotterdam, it's a nice place to live. And you're going out with this, this is going to get me in trouble with the town. Um, and my wife says, yeah, it should, should say Rotterdam, a nice place for skunks to live. <laughs> so um, anybody from the town watching this, that's my wife's fault, not mine. <laughs> I will never run for town office ever again. Um, a skunk, certainly not what I expected to find in the box. Not at all. Uh, very unusual critter for the box. And one of my favorite things, have you watched, now for you youngest ones, you may not have seen it. Do you know who Pepe Le Pew is? Yes. I'm getting, you don't know Chirito? Pepe, Pepe Le Pew? From the cartoons? The skunk yes. that falls in love with a cat. Oh yeah, I know that show. It's one of those ancient shows. What's that? It was in Looney Tunes. Yeah, you know, back in the uh, 1900s. Um, and, and Pepe Le Pew always pretended to be a cat, right? Because he was chasing this girl cat. And, um, of course, he would stink up the whole place as he went along. But, always hilarity. Hilarity always ensued when Pepe followed his, his, this cat he was interested in. And I always thought that was wondering, or interesting, that you could have one creature that looks like another. And I thought, do we ever try to be something that we're not, like Pepe. You know what? I think we're called to be who we are, warts and all, or in this case, stripes and all, for the good and the bad. I hear it often, you hear it often, you know, people complaining about those Christians. They're, they think they're so good, but they're nothing but hypocrites. 
They think they're these, these great people that can tell us what to do and how to do it. And they're kind of right. We are hypocrites. That's a big word, right? It means something that we're pretending not to be. So I think it's better that we show people that we are fully human, like anybody else, that we have our flaws like anybody else, that we have our stripes like any scum. And sometimes we're good and sometimes we're bad, but we are still children of God. And anybody can be a child of God. Even the skunks. So we should Maybe especially the skunks. So we shouldn't fake it till we make it? No, I don't think God calls us to fake it. God calls us to be legitimate, to be authentic. authentic. Now that being said, we should strive to be Christ-like, but we're going to fail, and that's okay. And we can tell others that that's okay. We can, we can dust ourselves off, wipe the black paint off of our stripes, and keep going. So let's bow our heads. Dear God, sometimes we stink at being Christians. But we thank you for forgiving our flaws. Help us to share with others that you do that for us. In your name we pray. Amen.